It's really awesome because what we're doing is really changing the foundation that science is built on. If we achieve what we are working on, I will have a job forever. We have reason to believe that uh, there is a single gene that distinguishes those people who give funding for scientific research and those who do not give. When we find that gene, we're going to be able to introduce it into individuals and change them so that now they're going to become donors. The question that really motivates my research is how can I get people to give me more money? To give money to science, yeah. Another one of these gel docs would be great. That would actually be amazing. We need at least five more of these. We could use more of these and these as well as a few more of those. Well, the first step of this kind of research is to identify those people who never give money for anything. Excuse me, sir. Have you ever been into donating to climate change research? Hell no. I'll never fund anything. And what we do is we take their genetic material and sequence the whole genome and we compare it to uh, the genome sequence of those individuals who are very altruistic and, uh, uh, and often uh, give uh, a lot of money to good causes, particularly to science. And when we do this, we now have tremendous computational tools that will allow us to uh, narrow in on the actual genes that's important, and then that will give us the ability to, uh, to alter the gene and the appropriate individuals. By using the CRISPR-Cas9 technique, we're hoping to ensure that all future generations of politicians have the fun science gene. We know this is a classist society. It's a very unequal society. And we know that those people who are in power now are going to be the ones who give birth or sire those who will be the most powerful in our society in generations to come. If we can just infect the sperm of the men in power with construct containing the fund science allele, then we can ensure the next generation will have the funding science gene. All we have to do is get that construct into their testicles. Undergrads. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a biochem major at NYU. And um, yeah, I'm told I have a special research opportunity, so excited to see what that is. So I've disguised myself as a janitor to gain access to the congressman's office. And here is the syringe containing the DNA in the CRISPR and Cas9 to directly target his funding gene. The plan is to stick it on his chair so it gets where it needs to go. And my professors assured me that this will be my lab credit for the semester. Yeah, um, I guess that didn't go very well, but uh, you know, I just guess that just goes to show that we really need this funding really badly for things like um, better fake mustaches. So the strategy that we've decided to use is uh, going to take advantage of our knowledge of what presidential candidates eat while they are on the campaign trail. And we have developed a, uh, an approach that's called corn dog fection. Uh, what we do is we put into corn dogs the CRISPR-Cas9 machinery. It delivers that machinery to the intestinal wall where it gets absorbed and gets transmitted through the gut-brain connection through the, uh, the neurons to the central nervous system and thus change the behavior uh, of the politician. Uh, our prediction is that we'll be sitting on piles of cash for research uh, for uh, many years to come. We just better hope that the military doesn't figure this out first.